what is up people welcome back to another episode i am back out on the e-bike this evening it's just gone 5 p.m i'm using the new uber eats bag remember the one that i was talking about the one that you can get for free if you check out your emails it has arrived and uh, i haven't done any deliveries with it yet but uh yeah i'll give you my overall thoughts throughout this episode i will be uh picking out the good and bad points about the bag i am online with uber eats and deliveroo but i'm yet to get any orders just yet it is 20 past five so i'm going to start heading down towards the restaurants i was aiming to get out for five o'clock but I haven't been on the e-bike for quite some time so I had to move over my GoPro mounts and uh, a load of other things. Um, even my quad lock mount as well wasn't working so yeah I had to do a little quick MOT on the bike because it hasn't been used in so long. And there we go, there we got the first order, £3.85 and it's picking up from the pizza restaurant and it's literally just up here on the left hand side and it is going to be the first order that I'm picking up with this new bag so I might have to uh, I might have to extend it because it has got this uh, extension on the actual bag so I can fit pizzas and stuff I'm just so comfortable on the uh, new and I don't have to mess around with locking it up and stuff but I'd rather lock it up than lose it lock it or lose it as they say I think yeah we're picking up two pizzas seven two five four Seven two five four. Yeah. yeah Those two, yeah? Yeah. Just yeah. One. Thank you. Two Cheers. Kind that Velcro is well, well strong. That was quite simple. I'm sure once I get used to the bag, it'll be a lot easier. But yeah, for the first time used, it ain't that bad. God, it's been a long time. I can't even put my quad lock on. There we go. <laughs> uh, all right, this one is 1.2 miles away. Hello, mate. Thank you. Nice. Cheers. Lovely, jubbly. That is the first one done. Now we just wait for another. Oh, my hair is so messy today. And there we go. We got another order. Three pounds sixty-nine. Picking up from the same pizza restaurant that I just picked up that first order from. Let's go over and grab it. How convenient! I just literally arrived back here, and I wasn't even intending to come directly back to this restaurant. It just happened to be, you know. But there is one thing missing on my bike and I can't actually continue the shift until I fix it. There we go. That's better. Cheers. Thank you. Nice, easy, quick pickup from that uh, pizza restaurant. I thought this uh, can holder would be a good idea, but it's shaking this Red Bull like crazy. I gotta remember that that's gonna be really fizzy when I open it. It still works though, which is nice. Can you see it sort of counterbalances? So as I turn, it always stays like upright, which was pretty cool. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't move around. It just vibrates like crazy. Oh, I missed my turning. No, damn. And I forgot my speaker. I can't even play music. Normally I've got the tunes going, I'm in the zone, but today I'm listening to uh, Traffic FM. Nothing but traffic and the wind. Ah, oh, gutted. I was not prepared for tonight, but I'm still gonna film the shift and uh, hopefully it is a good one. All right, where's this customer? Cheers, mate. Thank you. Yeah, this bag is uh, it's holding up well. The zips are super smooth. That's one thing I can definitely say. I think it's just a, a matter of getting used to it until I can definitely say if I love it or hate it. But so far, it gets a thumbs up from me. The uh, zips on this bag, 
really nice and fluid. You don't have to put any effort, like effortless. And another thing I always check is the, the stitching on the actual bag. So like this part here, and uh, it, is, it isn't just one silly little layer of uh, thread. They have put it underneath and then stitched across it. So yeah, those straps are definitely gonna last. Uh, we've got another one there, three pound 82. Oh yeah, this one here, thank you. Picked up a bottle of champagne. All right, just arriving now. Three pound tip as well. That's very nice. Thank you for your tip as well, I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, uh, let's go get another one. towards the pizza restaurant. Let's see if another pizza order comes in. Oh, check the skill. I think it's time to crack the Red Bull. Ooh, it's not that fizzy. There's another order, three pound, three pence. Yeah, this one's a super close drop. Set the alarm, my trusty alarm which I will leave a link in the description for. Super cheap and uh, very, very sensitive and very loud as well. Thank you. Cheers. 0.3 miles for this one. Three quid for 0.3 miles. It's getting worried. I thought you weren't coming then. <laughs> there you go, my friend. Yes, thank you. Nice one. Can I get your 50, yeah? Cheers, man. All right. That's that one done. I'm gonna head straight back to the uh, pizza restaurant. Seems to be order after order from there. And uh, why go anywhere else? And I keep getting orders for the pizza restaurant. All right, there's another order. Paying four pound 43. But yeah, this one seems to be quite a big order. This is, this is a big, big order. Is this 2168? Yes, it is. Yeah, it should be all right. If it doesn't fit, then I'll just call for a second rider. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. Is it heavy? Okay, cool. Damn, that's huge. And with big orders like this, you know what? I'm not even going to jinx myself and say there's going to be a tip. They've probably spent enough money on pizza, they're not going to tip. But you never know. 1.7 miles, 10 minutes it's going to take us. Well, take me, because I'm the one delivering. All right, let's get going. So now that this bag is fully packed out, I can comment on the comfortability of it. And the padding is quite nice. I can feel it on the back. On the back, on my back. So yeah, the padding is there. Uh, probably need to tighten up these straps a little bit, because the bag is coming away from my back. but. Yeah, it is nice and comfortable. All right, just arriving now. I don't know where it is. All right, bit of an operation, this one. <laughs> yeah. The guy was like, are you sure you're gonna be able to fit that in there? I was like, yeah, don't worry. There's two bags. I was quite lucky that I used this bag. It's, it's brand new, so I haven't used it yet. Yeah. It's uh, quite impressive that they all fit. There we go. You got it? Nice one. Can I get your code as well? Do you Take care. Bye. You too impressive little bag this all right yeah no tip on that order but i'm not bothered it did pay over three pound and guess where we're going we're heading back to that same pizza restaurant because the orders just keep coming in and uh, londoners are ordering a load of pizza tonight all right let's go and there's another three pound 71 Lovely. Yeah. Sorry. Just one Yeah, just one, yeah. Thank you. Alright, one mile away, this one's going. 
let's remember that I've got the lock on. Last thing I want to do is try and ride off. That will mess up my spokes and my wheel. Hiya. You're right. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Cheers. Oh man. Not one light on that guy's bike. Oh man. I know I'm wearing a black hoodie, but I'm wearing a bright green bag. I've got a nice LED front light and rear light that is on constantly, so drivers can see me. But when you're riding around with zero lights, it's an accident waiting to happen. Still no orders on Uber Eats tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's a bit weird. I'm using the new Uber Eats bag, but I've had nothing but delivery orders. <laughs> That's quite funny. Yeah, considering there's no boost on tonight, it's, yeah, not even a 1.1X multiplier. We've got 1.2 tomorrow evening, but it's absolutely chucking it down all day. And I'm at my full-time job anyway tomorrow. But yeah, even though we don't have any multipliers tonight, the orders are quite consistent. Um, they do keep coming in. I mean, I know I keep heading back to the same restaurant over and over again, but that's because they're really quick and there's always orders coming out of there. I know if I'm, if I'm gonna wait more than 20 minutes, then I'm just gonna move to another area and uh, pick up from other restaurants. But what I've noticed with this restaurant, that all the drops are, are local. They're not super far away. Whereas if I was to go to like a McDonald's or, well, not a McDonald's because I don't pick up from there anymore. But if I was to go to like another restaurant area, the orders go really far. Um, obviously because I'm on a motorbike account. But yeah, these orders here seem to be pretty local. All right, there's another order there, £4.14. Going quite far but the pickup's only 0.5 miles away. So let's go get it. Hey, it's turned into a double, 687. Right, been waiting five minutes. This restaurant is very slow. So I'm just gonna cancel and go somewhere else. Adios, keep it moving, keep it moving. I think I'm going to head back to the pizza restaurant. Oh, what's this one? All right, let me pull over. Have a look at this one. Yeah, this one looks okay. Hello, mate. 8445. Four, 21 minutes away. Damn, that's a distance. 3.2 miles. Welcome to the EE. Here we are. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Have a good Great one. Evening. Cheers, man. All right, people. Dilemma. I've run out of battery. <laughs> I've got no battery left on my bike. And the time now is eight o'clock, so I might have to cut this episode short. I'm so used to my uh, 70 amp hours of battery on the new that I've been uh, enjoying the speed a bit too much on this bike. And I have absolutely drained the battery down quite far away from home at the moment. Look, I'm down to one bar. And the last thing I want is to get not stranded because I'll be able to cycle home anyway, but it's going to be one hell of an effort to uh, cycle home a dead e-bike because this bike does weigh a ton. So I'm going to start making my way home. If an order comes in, then I'll do it. Uh, but if not, then I'll go through the earnings. I'll uh, catch up with you in a moment. All right, peeps, I'm going to finish up the episode there. Let's go over to Rodeo and check out the stats for today today there we go 41 pound 15 all on Deliveroo no Uber Eats tonight 
Um, earlier on I worked one hour, so that's why it says hours worked four. But really, I only worked three hours because I did go offline at eight o'clock. Yeah, £41.15, take away £10. £31.15, nine orders in total today. Earnings per order was £4.57. Tips, £3 today, not bad. And yeah, time on orders was two hours and four minutes and the earnings per hour estimated at £10.29. So yeah, quite a good uh, quite a good shift tonight. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description down below for the uh, delivery bag that I've been using. I think it is retailing for £33. Um, and yeah, it definitely is worth the money. It does uh, hold up well. It's quite comfortable. Uh, actually putting it to the test tonight. And yeah, it can hold quite a few uh, quite a few items. So yeah, I'll leave a link down below. And as always, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And I look forward to bringing you another video very soon. Take care. Peace.